So this is the second problem on composite sections. A reinforced concrete column 500 mm into 500 mm in section is reinforced with four steel bars of 25 mm diameter one in each corner the column carrying a load of 1000 kN find the stresses in the concrete and steel bars take Young's modulus of Young's modulus for steel 2 and 10 GPA Young's modulus for concrete 14 GPA so first let me calculate the area of column so here area of column it is 500 into 500 so 250 into 10 raised to 3 so area of column 250 into 10 raised to 3 mm square so it is reinforced with 4 steel bars of 25 mm diameter so area of steel so 4 bars so pi into 25 square divided by 4 so 4 into 4 into so area of steel is so 1963.5 Four nine mm square, so or it is nearly equal to one nine six three mm square. So next area of concrete. So area of concrete, it is calculated as area of column minus area of steel. So area of column 250 into 10 raised to 3 minus area of steel 1963. So 250 into 10 raised to 3 minus 1963. So here it is. So area of concrete AC 248.037 into 10 raised to 3 mm square. So total load carried by the column it is denoted by P. So 1000 kilo Newton. So if I convert this to Newton so it will be 1000 into 10 raised to 3 Newton. So this is the given data. So already we know the assumptions for composite sections. So your assumption one is strain in both the material is same. So let me use first assumption. So that is strain in steel which is equal to strain in concrete so from the basics we know that so strain can be written as stress divided by Young's modulus so here sigma s can be written as Young's modulus of steel divided by Young's modulus of concrete multiplied by stress in concrete. So sigma S equals 
so Young's modulus of steel 210 GPA divided by Young's modulus of concrete 14 GPA or either you can convert this to Newton per mm square so you will get the same answer so multiplied by sigma c so 210 divided by 14 so you will get 15 so here sigma s equals 15 times sigma c again we know the second assumption that is total load P equals PS plus PC. So PS is load shared by steel. PC is load shared by concrete. So we know the total load. So that is 1000 into 10 raised to 3 Newton equals. So load can be written as stress into area. So sigma S AS plus sigma C AC. So here it is same 1000 into 10 raised to 3 equals sigma s can be written as 15 times sigma c. So 15 times sigma c into as. So area of steel 1963. So we already calculated it. So sigma c multiplied by area of area of concrete that is 248037 so if you simplify this so let me simplify this so 15 into 1963 So we will get here sigma c multiplied by 29445 plus sigma c into 248037. So here sigma c is common. So if you add these two terms, so that is 29445 plus 24. 8037 so you will get 277482 so here it is 1000 into 10 raised to 3 so you will get sigma c sigma c as 1000 into 10 raised to 3 divided by 277 482 so sigma c equals so 1000 into 10 raised to 3 divided by 277482 so you will get 3.6 so 3.6 newton per millimeter square so this is stress in concrete so this is stress in concrete to calculate the stress in steel so use this equation sigma s equals 15 times sigma c so 15 multiplied by 3.6 so it will be 54 so stress in steel which is equal to 54 newton per millimeter square so this will be stress stress in steel so stress in concrete is 3.6 Stress in steel is 54.